Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, in this week's video, we're going to be making a small man gate or a small walk gate, about three foot wide, about six foot tall. It's got some nice decor and design to it. I thought it'd be an interesting build. Let's get started on today's video. All right, so the first thing I like to do is uh, get this little coat of oil that comes on this um, on the material from the metal supply store. I'd imagine they put it on there to keep it from uh, rusting and preserve it a little bit, but uh, I get it wiped off with some acetone. It works out really good. Took it over the slugger right here and uh, got all my 45s cut. And I like to cut all the pieces, get everything uh, as, as cut as much as I can so everything just goes together. And, uh, you know, I got a new blade on the slugger so everything's working good get over the bird king and just deburred everything uh taking the burrs off like that that uh, just allows perfect uh fit up uh during assembly you can see here i'm over at the uh the fab table and i've i made these little uh pins right here on my lathe and uh, they work out really good you can see just the, the table's perfectly squared with these holes and if you can just you know pin them up on either end like that and clamp everything down. I got these fixture clamps and uh, some squares. Uh, everything is, is perfectly square. I've double checked it and all there is to do now is just to weld the thing together. Now before I used to just tack and tack and flip it over and be sure everything's square, but at this point, everything is square and being held down tight and I can just go ahead and weld all the way out. And that's what we're doing right here. Got everything flipped around and just welding everything out. Of course, I double checked it after this because I always have a feeling it gets out of, it gets out of whack, but uh, it hasn't yet. It works really good on this table. And this is just the top part of the uh, gate. It is, uh, you know, it's going to be holding some decorative pieces right there, and I'm just welding that in right there. You know, uh, here's a good example of making things comfortable for you as you get it up and clamp it to the end and clamp it down. Um, uh, it just it just makes for a much easier faster assembly once I got everything all done right here that uh, you guys know I like to well uh, grind my welds down and just uh, at least the ones on the outside and keep them nice and uh, clean looking and I'm just doing that with a uh, uh, Mercer ceramic flap disc right here you know just grinds it right down keeps it nice and smooth I like that look you know when it's all painted it just looks like a finished product so the next thing is time to start in, uh, installing some of this decor. Now this here is uh, the first thing I did is found center of the gate. These are a couple of S hooks. Uh, and, and you can see that I've got them propped up with pieces of wood. And this is another reason to hang on to every piece of wood scrap size dif dimension that you have. I have just tons of this stuff, all different purposes. And that's what we're using it for right here. It's got those things tacked into place for now. And then these are the pickets. Uh, these are half inch square tube pickets is what we're using on this one. Uh, we're matching a, an existing condition. And uh, once again, I'm finding center. I'll start with the first one right on center. And then we'll be spacing accordingly uh, to accept these little C, uh, C brackets that are going to be going in here. You can see it right there. I'm just uh, setting it in there to get my spacing right. Those will be going in the uh, bottom part of the gate here. You'll be seeing that momentarily. I'm just going to get started by just tacking these in on one side. I just want to get everything in place um, prior to uh, finishing the rest of the gate with a smaller part of the decor here. There's those wood spacers again. They just work good for everything. You know, once you find the right size and shape, uh, it's perfect. All right, and this is the little jig assembly that I created uh, to, to put these final pieces in. You can see a, a mixture of uh, some three-quarter, and I think it's half-inch and small pieces to every, line up everything to be sure everything fits right in there, and uh, it makes it easy for, for the final assembly and fast. It worked out pretty good, pretty fast. And so once everything was all done right here, uh, then it was time to, to actually finish welding everything all the way out. You know, you guys uh, may remember, I like to weld everything all the way around. I don't like to leave any gaps where water may get into. And so this is what I'm doing right here. I'm just filling up everything uh, all the way around and uh, flipping around the other side. And I'm going to get some little tack welds on the decor on the top right here. Pretty much that's it. I don't know, the gate itself is complete. There's not much to it. Pretty simple, but it's a nice little design. One thing left here is to get the posts, and you can see that these posts are a different size. These are one uh, one inch by inch and a half uh, rectangular tube. This is what I wanted to use uh, to mount this. I was limited on some space on this install. 
And then I just cut off some uh, flat caps for the end and just going to weld those on just one side. Uh, this is going to be the top side right here. Uh, once I got those welded on, I just want to be sure and get everything ground down nice and smooth and make it look like a, a nice clean job. It's a solid piece of material right there. All right, so this is uh, where I drill a hole. This is an inch and an eighth there with a hole saw. And you can see I've got these rubber plugs that fit right in there. That's going to happen after the install is complete. Uh, this inch and eighth that allows me to get my socket with uh, the, the big bolts that I use to mount to the wall. And that this, I find that that's uh, worked out pretty good for me. These are just basic, uh, you know, three-inch hinges. I like a medium-sized hinge right here. This is a fairly lightweight gate, so I didn't need to get carried away with anything uh, too much bigger than that. And once again, I like to go all the way around and just keep everything nice and clean. This is one part of the latch you can see right here. In the past, I've uh, welded these latches on and left the center, the center holes open, and it looks kind of weird. And so now uh, I just go ahead and just fill them right up and look make for a better job. All right, that's it. Just finishing up the latch, and just like that, uh, the gate is complete to get a coat of paint on it and get it installed. Uh, turned out pretty good. A nice little design. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more video. Check out the website at jimbosgarage.com. Follow us on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.